All right, lads, so now it's after January. You guys want to see the squad report. So we're going to go through every single player and talk about them. So David De Gea, he hasn't gone up at all, even though he's pretty much played every single game for us this season. As you can see there, have a look at that, 26 games this season. So, uh, But his physical stats have gone up, so I can't really complain. And 83 for a 24-year-old as a goalkeeper is very good anyway, so I'm not really complaining. Raphael, uh, he's gone up two overall. I'm very happy. Have a look at those technical stats, all gone up. Phil Jones has gone up by one. Um, look at those stats as well. Very happy as well. Uh, next player is Marcus Rojo. Form, bad. I'm not too sure what that, that's about. Maybe it's because we bought Stones in and I started him for that one game. I'm not too sure. But he's been playing very good for me, so I, I don't really get that. And his overall has gone up by one as well. Luke Shaw, look at that, very happy. Mate, I've been playing him every single game. Um, he's gone up one by overall to 76. You know, he's, what, 25 games as well. So uh, he's almost played as much as De Gea. So that, that's very, very good. Uh, Daily Blind, look at that. He's gone up to 80 overall. Look at his technical stats. You know, there's a lot of plus threes there. So very happy with that. And De Herrera, another player that's playing basically nearly every game. 24 games. Um... Look at that. He's gone up by two overall to 81. So uh, very happy with that. Angel Di Maria. He's already on 88. Have a look at that. Long passing plus four. Mate, technical attributes. I'm very, very uh, happy with our Angel Di Maria. And look at that. He's very happy as well. One Mata is very happy playing him uh, a fair bit, especially now that uh, Rooney was just injured for a few games. Um, he's gone up by two overall. He's back to 87. So uh, I can't complain there. Uh, Will Keane's gone up by three. Haven't really been using him. Uh, look at that. I've only played the one game. So uh, I haven't, haven't even used him at all, really. Uh, Robin Van Persie, look at that. On 90, he's gone up by two overall. Basically been playing him every single game. Form excellent. Morel happy. Mate, I reckon if I... Not that I want to, but if I could sell him. Look at that. His value is 50 million. I could probably get 70 to 80 million for him right now. Just because his form is absolutely excellent and his morale's happy. So, um, not that I want to sell him anyways. Unsellable. All right, Michael Carrick. Look at that. I don't think I've played him. Look at that. Oh, he's played 10 games. That's not too bad. But uh, he's going downhill really quick. I'm not going to sell him. So, uh, he's a United legend. But if he wants to leave, he can leave. And uh, Simeone Scuffett. We've just brought him in. So, uh, interesting to see how he goes. Uh, Joe Rothwell, haven't even been playing him. I've played one game with him. I can't even remember that. But who has Adnan Yenize? I can't speak highly enough of this kid. He is just amazing. I think you guys know how I feel about him. Anyways, look at that. Form, excellent. Morale, very happy. He's gone up by two overall. He's only 20. Imagine when he's 24, 25. This kid is going to be... Can't wait to use him. All right, next player, lads, we've got Jesse Lingard. Haven't played him too much. He's played eight games for me, so that's not too bad coming off the bench. And he's gone up by two overall as well, so I uh, can't complain there. Tom Thorpe, haven't really played. He's gone up by one. John Stones, uh, we just got him as well, but he's already gone up by one, so um, happy days. Not complaining there. All right, Chris Smalling's gone up by two. Uh, not bad for a player that I've only played eight games with. So, um, man, his potential gets into the early 80s, I think. So, that's not too bad for Chris Smalling, you know. If I had to choose Smalling or Evans, I would definitely choose uh, Smalling. So, I think we made the right choice, guys. Anyways, Kevin Strootman, lad. Um, you can, as you can see there, his technical uh, stats have gone up a little bit, but none overall at the minute. But that's all right, he's just joined. Next player, lads, is Maron Fellini. Now, he is stagnated. He's not gone up by anywhere, nor has he gone down anywhere as well. His uh, morale is threatened, so uh, that's a bit weird. But I've played 15 games with him as well, so um, I'm not too sure about Fellini. Get your comments down below. What do you think about Fellini? What to do with him? Anyways, Antonio Valencia. Played 13 games with him, and uh, his form's bad, and content is his morale, so... Um, not too sure, but he's gone up by one overall. Maybe it's the time to sell him in the summer. Maybe, I'm thinking. I'm not too sure. Uh, Darren Fletcher, again, I haven't, I haven't even played him once. So, um, I'm not too sure if he wants to go. But uh, I want to keep him. You know, I'm a legend. So, um, if he wants to go, we'll move him on. Um, Fel Cow, it's a shame he had this really, really long injury. He was in fantastic form. Uh, he played 14 games, but he's got that broken angle. At ankle. As you can see there, his physical stats are starting to decrease, even though his technical stats are, are going up. So um, we need him back ASAP so we can start scoring the goals again. 
Wayne Rooney, this guy's a legend, captain, he's, he's um, happy morale, good form. As you can see, his technical stats have gone up, and he's gone up by one overall. Nani, he's on loan, so it's going to be interesting to see the loan players now, how they're going. He's gone up by one overall. Um, okay, <laughs> it says he's played no games, but uh, surely he has at Sporting. Uh, mate, I'd love to get him back, and it'll be interesting to see what happens there. Uh, Hernandez, he's gone up by one overall as well to 82, so uh, that's good to see. Tom Cleverly. Mate, not even Aston Villa can help out Tom Cleverly. Look at that. So uh, I'm too. I'm pretty sure if we do get Tom Cleverly back, we will be pushing him on. Anyways, lads, Wilfred Zaha. Wow, look at that. Plus three. That's interesting to see. So uh, definitely, definitely love to have uh, Wilfred back at Crystal Palace. Oh, there you go. He's played 17 games. So uh, that's fantastic. All right, Nicky Powell. Uh, he's gone up by three over, uh, overall as well. So that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Uh, Michael Keane, he's gone up by three already. We just put him out alone. So uh, that's pretty cool to see. Andreas Pereira, gone up by three as well. Uh, Valera, he hasn't gone up at all. Just a few mental stats. Uh, interesting to see there. All right, Tyler Balakit, we've just put him out alone, but he did play a few games for us. Uh, oh, okay, well, he just played one game with us. But anyways, uh, it's pretty hard to put him in the team, especially when he's 65 overall. Uh, Reese James gone up by three. That's good to see, lad. Uh, Vermal's gone up by two. James Wilson's gone up by three. Uh, we only played the one game with him, but um, mate, I can't wait till he comes back on loan. Uh, maybe I might put him on loan for one more season till he comes back into like the mid 70s, and then I'll start using him. But I can't wait to use him. He's a great prospect in real life, and he will be for our career mode. Uh, next player is Sam Johnston. Uh, he seems to be all right. Hasn't grown anywhere, but we haven't even played him. So I might loan him out next season. Might. I'm not too sure. But uh, that's it for the um, squad report, guys. Uh, hopefully um, you guys enjoyed that. And uh, get your comments down below. Tell me which players you think I should bring in and sell. That's always a good conversation because I always read the comments about which players to sell and which players to buy. So uh, like for like, really. But anyways, lads, please drop a like. Get your comments down below. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. And don't forget to subscribe to the Curtis7 YouTube channel. Anyways, I'm your boy, Curtis7. Take care and peace.